Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And what are we doing here today? Well, the Thanksgiving banner should be, the info should be coming out sometime in November 22nd, actually based off of, we can actually literally look at all the times it ever got news out. November, November 18th, November 22nd. Very close. Um, November 20th, November 19th. Middle of month, basically. Yeah, it's the middle of the month. November 24th. What the hell were we doing? To COVID. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what about for 2020? It was November 24th. So maybe this will be November. No, but by that point, that will be literally Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. No, Thanksgiving is on the 23rd this year. Anyway, we're here because we wanted. I wanted to do a thing where we actually took a guess. At, we tried to guess what servants would be on the banner itself and then see how right we are when they actually announce the banner. So I've got... Me and my brother both have eight picks. Um, we pick seven, one for each class, and then eight is an extra, uh, which we can be used for the extra class, and we'll try and see if we can figure it out. Uh, there is no rhyme or reason to the Thanksgiving banner at all. And the, you can look at the first time it ever showed up. These were the two featured SSR. These were the three well, featured. Scott the Hawk was new. Yeah, Scott, was she new? I thought she was new. Yeah, see? Makes her debut. Okay, so she actually debuted here. That's why they. That's why the the forever icon for this is the Skaturki, which yeah. makes so much sense now. Um, but also uh, uh, Kintoki. And I was about to call him Kintoki because of how much I've been talking about Kintama today. And Gilgamesh were also on it. And I think all three of these have basically shown up in almost all of them. I want to say. I think they're in like. 75% of them. Yeah, if, they, if anything, they're at least... There's probably one year where they just... None, none of these three, but they're typically... At least one of them is on it, typically. But that is the best that you can do in terms of guessing. And sometimes the how many servants it is is completely random and hard to guess. So we're going to do our best to try and guess. If you want to guess along, feel free to leave who you think is going to be on it. It could literally be anyone. So we're going to start um, with... Saber. Yeah, with Saber. I was going to say, with me or you? You yeah, want to... Okay, me? First. Okay. I think this one, this one's kind of obvious, because I think everyone is guessing that this is going to be the Saber for this year. Um, let me go into the Saber class. My Saber guess is the one that everyone is making, because we never got his banner return. It is Saber Ostolfo. Uh, the reason being is that we were supposed to have a Fate Apoc banner. And it never came in, so spoilers for what my choice for the archer is going to be. But I think those units that didn't show up there are likely to show up for Thanksgiving. I don't think it's going to be a complete rework of all the APOC servants. Because at that point, that would be just kind of a dead year for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think that would be actively the worst use of Thanksgiving that you could get. Your last chance to potentially get people to summon and you use it only on APOC units, that would not be good. At least that's in my opinion. So I really think that Saber Ostolfo is likely to be the Saber pick, though. Not a bad pick, not a bad pick. Okay, who do you think? For my pick on Saber, I decided to go, what if Fago just hated their NA fans? Uh-huh. So my guess is Seiji Muramasa. <laughs> so you're saying I'm saying they're rerunning some hit big hitters for this Thanksgiving huh so Muramasa famous for never getting reran till way way later it was a long time before he got reran on J JP that's for sure but if you haven't noticed NA has been getting more reruns of characters that just haven't been reran that much mm -hmm. because they have to fill up a lot and Thanksgiving is the perfect time to do that for uh, many units. They put Grand Servants, they put New Year Servants, sometimes they even do Summer. Mm -hmm. So, my guess is that it's going to be the oh. year before that, New Year's, like it was last year, which was Benny Emma. Oh, it's true. You're right about that. I, yeah, I think you've got a pretty good point here. His the funny thing is that actually I can see him being the poster because the background of his literally looks it's like autumn. Yeah. It literally looks like autumn. <laughs> I think you might actually have hit the nail on the head if it wasn't for Fade A Fog. I think that would actually be a pretty solid choice of how much they <laughs> would want people to summon. Because the obviously the big hitter here and the reason that she's not gonna be talked about in Lancer is that Melusane is in is in December. And if you're going to do any summons before the anniversary for Vich or Bazette that is coming up in February, which I think is the next probable big unit, mm -hmm. um, 
it has to be something that people are actually legitimately going to try and go for. And Muramasa would definitely be on that list. So that's what we got so far. We got, I got Saber Stelfo. You've got Muramasa. Let's go to Archer. And I already men made mention of it beforehand. If it was not for Fate Apoc, I think it would likely have been actually Gilgamesh would have been my pick. Because it's actually been a bit since we've had a Gilgamesh come in. Uh, it's been long enough for me to go like, it's been a bit since we had a Gilgamesh. But because of the Apoc banner stuff, I think it's actually very likely that you have Summer Jean in there. Uh, she works for a lot of reasons. She's literally an arts unit who's AoE, who works perfect with Castoria. Uh, she is uh, an obvious waifu bait that you can put up there as a saber face. Easy to get some money in. If you're going to get anyone to summon before you bring in Melusane, it would be literally offering up one of the very few genes that is actually currently attack relevant just because Jolter is a little bit faltery at this point and Jean Ruler that. is good but also she's mainly used for crazy stall tactics so Summer Jean that's what I'm thinking for uh, my side of the pick and that's my pick for Thanksgiving on the Archer side what do you think boy you completely read my mind uh, my guess was Gilgamesh I mm. figured that it's been long enough enough time has passed Gilgamesh needs to come back and he needs to be the AUO as he is yeah. in the AKs. That would also mean that if they did add it, I would have to finally break out that PNG of Gilgamesh that we've been saving <laughs> in that video that I recorded so long ago. We need the Gilgamesh to come back. He needs to come. Yeah, I could definitely. Like, and he's also one of the literally one of the first three units for Thanksgiving. The second Thanksgiving was him featured on it. Yeah. So uh, definitely an easy good pick here and just as likely as mine i would say next lancer i was going in a similar kind of frame of mind thinking back to early thanksgiving so my lancer pick is actually scott Hawk. really uh yes uh the reason is is that i'm pretty sure she had a rerun banner a little while ago but and this is a big but because of old man lee i think now they don't care they don't care i think we're currently heading into a very dangerous state where they're not actually going to care how long it's been since the last rerun. And that's only because of what they did with Morgan. Morgan had such a crazy small chunk of time before she came back that I think it's opened the floodgates and we're going to see a lot more units like that where it's not going to matter as much. If it's been like one or two months, that's good enough for them. Obviously, the craziest gap ever would be literally a week later and that would be them there again. I don't think that's going to happen for a while there. But I think at least if it's been more than a month, I think it's a good chance for them to actually return. And I think that's because of the Lost Belt 6 units and how popular that they've been and how often they come back and how often they're willing to go like, actually, they're back. That I think that there's a very good chance that uh, Skahawk comes back for the Lancer side. And that's my pick for Lancer. Uh, what would you pick, boy? I thought long and hard about Lancer because one the one thing in my mind is what if they really did decide to push Melusane's banner up and put it into Thanksgiving? And so my pick is Melusane. <laughs> wow. So you're saying... I'm telling that banner in the future, in December, it's not going to exist. It's going to happen now. It's going to be for Thanksgiving? It's going to be Thanksgiving. Do you know how you, crazy that would my be? My <laughs> Berserker pick is also very similar. Huh. In that I think it's the it's the gear of Lost Belt 6. And Lost Belt 6 has the biggest impact I've ever seen in a gacha game in a while. We had people literally from... Outside it, of the circle. We had people from like news organizations that don't say shit about Fago unless they're like here's talking about Melty Blood literally saying one of the best stories I've ever had in a video game experience it just happened on a mobile game <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about that exactly it definitely has a big impact I really do uh, I do see the line of reasoning I still think this is probably a little bit insane if they were to put for currently your version of the Thanksgiving banner is ten times more crazy than mine. I'm going for the big one. You're saying you're going for the jugular. I'm going that this is the year where Fago says enough is enough. We're tired of our fans telling us what's the next banner. This is the next banner, and then they move on with their day. Actually, legitimately taking Clairvoyance EX down to at least A rank. Yeah. Because honestly, this would blindside so many people if this got out or that early. But alright, I respect it. I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> I would be there for that night. 
<laughs> Probably be the funniest night imaginal, imaginable. Imaginable, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going on to writer pick, and my writer pick... I was trying to think of this one because I think writer is a pretty weird category as it is right now in terms of who you want to see back. Um, I try to think about, like... Who would actually be a generically good writer that you could feature that people would go, oh, actually, I would really like them and have them right now. So my pick for writer is I hovered over Quetzalcoatl. There was a bit of me who just wanted to say Quetz because I'd be back, but I would be the literally the only person to summon on that banner. Um, Melusane. Melusane? That's some ye. Uh, Rains, my bad. <laughs> I, I, my bad. It's been a very long day for recording. Give me a bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit head tied in my head reigns uh the reason is is that she's a super good support writer that actually a lot of people i think skipped out on when she first came out and then i think because on, it was weird because on na i can't remember if when she first released i know she was like not the greatest but i don't think she had her resurgence yet on jp side where she had all the skill buffs that made her like a super good writer support yet um so I think a lot of people ended up skipping her banner and they didn't have it. And it's actually been... I think we had one rerun so far of Reigns and that's about it. Yes. Um, and I think it'd be a, probably a good time to get... If you want to get people to summon on something that have been like... that, I feel like she's definitely one of those units who are like, I skipped her the first time she went around and for the other rerun, I think I might actually try here. Because now she's actually so good that you can actually not ignore her anymore. And it would be worth a try. At least that's my current frame of mind. So I think Reigns would be a pretty good solid pick uh, for Ryder for this year. Uh, what do you feel for Ryder, boy? I'm feeling for the most forgettable Ryder. I'm thinking uh, it's probably going to be Ivan the Terrible. You think Ivan? I'm thinking that they're going to bring in Ivan the Terrible. And that's because he's probably the least re-ran uh, Lost Belt King. He is, in fact, the, the least re-ran Lost Belt King. <laughs> And so, putting him back into the circle, maybe that would be an okay, I guess. No one's going to really go for him. The people who would want Ivan. The people like me who really want Ivan and didn't get Ivan would go for him, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, they're going to just start putting uh, servants we haven't seen in a while in banners again. Yeah, that kind of funnels the same thing with Muramasa. Because for whatever reason, they really do not like rerunning Ivan. No. If you would almost be, you would be almost remiss to be like even remember that Ivan is in fact the Lost Belt King for the first Lost Belt, because they do not treat him as if he is the Lost Belt King for the first Lost Belt. He's hardly in events. He's hardly anywhere. He's barely talked about. The only thing that he's ever been a part of was the Quet Samba, and he was one of the people that they blame for it never coming back because he did the move of Buffalo Man from Kaniku Man. Yeah. Him and Anastasia literally word for word did the the their super attack uh, combination. Um, so maybe he's being punished equally as Quetz for that same thing. But yeah, I could definitely see Ivan coming back here. Um, I think it's always a smart idea to have a mix of units who are like not the ones that are the most popular, but they have a dedication. And I can tell you, there are enough dudes about that like Ivan the Terrible who are like, I really wish that they actually ran back Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> similar to, I guess that's similar to how I feel about Quetz, except for at least Quetz is a woman, so she gets bonus points over Ivan, who at is... At least you can still summon for Quetz on Story Banner. It's true, I can. You really can't do much for Ivan, because he is just straight up... He is a story unit who is limited... <laughs> To be fair, so are all the other Lost Belt Kings. Like, Scotty is the same way. Uh, let's go on to Caster. Um, I think for this one... Okay, for Caster, I th was really thinking... Okay, I was looking at my list, and my list was like... Okay, I've got some pretty decent picks on here. I got Skahawk. I've got two of the Fate Apoc dudes. I got Reigns, but then I think I said to myself... I need to go for the Throat. And what would be the funniest thing to go for the throw? Who would, who would make, who is the one unit that they could literally put in front of any banner and it would get people to summon? <laughs> because the unit is too big to ignore. Merlin. Close. It is the Merlin that surpassed Merlin. It is Castoria. <laughs> that is my You're, guess for Castor. Okay. Castoria. Okay. I'm going to guess Castoria. Because again, I'm thinking in the frame of mind of... What is going to make people actually go like, okay, we've got the people who have their side picks who are like, oh yeah, I love these units. I'm going to go for them. 
Who's the one unit that will literally make people go, all my plans just went out the window? And that's Castoria for me. Because literally any time that her banner comes up, it's filled with people going like, I need to get Castoria. I still have new people to the game coming in and saying like, hey, um, I have, Castoria? when's Castoria's coming back? Because I need Castoria. It's like, hey, I got this. Rioma's coming up. Someone's going to get Rioma and then they're going to go great. Even to the people who I say summon for Rioma, my next piece of advice is if you're new and you have Rioma, you're literally saving everything for Castoria. You need to go for Castoria. 100%. It is just the unit that is so hard. It's, it's the place that Merlin once had, where it's just like so hard to deny. And I think Merlin still has that kind of place to him. And I feel like they're probably more likely to actually bring back Merlin than they are Castoria, just because they know that Castoria can sell a banner by herself. Yes. They could just literally say, it's a Castoria banner, and they can add her in there, and then it'd be like, all right, well, I guess people are summoning. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking for this one, I'm definitely going to go Castoria. We'll see if it happens, but I'm going to go lock in Castoria for my caster pick. What do you think, boy? For caster, I thought long about it. Uh, recently, we had a rerun of uh, Ibuki and Kentoki, and I thought to myself, huh, there's a Rida servant missing here. Murasaki Shikibu was my guess for caster. <laughs> that would that would definitely be a unit that would get me and you to summon. <laughs> yes, if I wasn't already summoning for Ivan, I'm definitely redirecting to Murasaki, and it just goes all out the window from there, because I don't know, honestly. Because this year, we have pity. I don't know how they're going to do Thanksgiving. Yeah, they they would I would I would assume it's well they've even been a little bit better about doing multiple banners at a single time. Yeah, that would be crazy if they just launched a buttload of banners. If anything, that's a good reason to do less banners this year. But we're still gonna pick these picks and yeah. see what's gonna happen. Um, but I can definitely see them. Yeah, we'll see how that goes, actually. I didn't actually think about too hard. It would be hilarious to just have, like, seven banners seven up. Seven banners up all at once, and then you have, like, at the end, a Ryoma. Yeah. And uh, all the Gouda Gouda servants. Yeah, well, no, Ryoma's not... Oh, pretty close. The, the way I've figured it out is that Ryoma happens first, and then a couple days later we get news for when Thanksgiving is, but then Ryoma doesn't leave until Gouda Gouda leaves, which is the 26th. Yeah. So in theory, depending on how long they actually want to keep the Thanksgiving banner, it's possible for them to all end at the exact same time. Yeah. It'd be something crazy for sure. Or they could do an extension and have it go into other things, but who knows at that point. At that point, they may as well just make a new event tile thing. But okay, Murasaka Shikibu. That's another respectable... Tr that's definitely one that I would pick. Because I don't think she gets rerun that often, does she? she? Kinda. Compared She's a writer's to servant. Compared but, to someone like Raiko, no. No. Uh, Raiko definitely has the crown for, I think, most rerun Rita Servant, even though Kintoki came out first. Yes. Um, they, they both had a lot of reruns. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I would love to get uh, Shikibu, even though I literally have... <laughs> the, the good casters already. Yeah, I also already have Shirazade, who is filling that role, but I would gladly make room for a Rita Servant if I could fit her in. Next, we've assassin. got Assassin. Okay. I think this one's pretty obvious for me. Uh, I picked the one that I was like, again, heavy hitter. Who's the heavier hitter <laughs> than Kama herself to come down? Uh, if there's any way you can get people to actually summon, it's to literally put either Saber, uh, Rin, or Sakura. And if you put any one of those three, you can basically cover any banner that you want i think over on the korean side of the game they literally just released a ishtar and their chicago banner of just them put them two put together uh-huh uh don't know why they just did <laughs> so I'm guessing they needed to fuel a bit of the money for, yeah i think it was um also for christmas stuff related because those are two christmas units, they are they're christmas yeah even though Ishtar is one of those, is I think in the same boat as Tamamo as being a technical Christmas servant. Yes. Where they released at Christmas, but they had absolutely nothing to do with the... No, the Tamamo released for Halloween, but um, Ishtar was for Christmas and didn't have anything to do with that event at all because it was focused on uh, Janta Claus. But anyway, I think Kama would be a pretty good pick and for this one, and it would definitely get a lot of people to summon. That's my idea for it. It would definitely throw people off guard. 
Uh, how do you feel, boy? Who do you think would be your assassin pick? So, my assassin pick was Kama. <laughs> was also Kama? It was also Kama. I was like, yeah, it would kind of make sense if they would at least have one Sakura servant. Uh, when you brought up the Apoc stuff, I was like, man, maybe I should have picked Semiramis when you said Kama, but no, it was Kama. Uh, mm. I think it's due time that she got her rerun just to get a little bit more money flowing into the cash bank and not using up that extra slot on Avenger, who just came out this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be a pretty obvious... And she's coming back pretty close to next year. Even though, like I said, I think that doesn't matter anymore, and I can matter. definitely see them doing that. But it's been a while since we've done Assassin, so I figure Assassin first, and then you can wait a little and then bit. New Year's, you can have Call of Avenger. That would be actually fucking insane <laughs> if it was. Because yes, you could definitely do that if you just want to do a constant one-two punches. But Assassin comma. I could definitely see. It's another one of those units that you could literally put as the poster child for the Thanksgiving event, and that carries the event in of, it, in of itself. Berserker. Berserker, we're getting pretty close to the end here. I think we both likely picked the same Berserker, because I think we're in the same frame of mind. Yeah, big it's punch. the It's the year of Lost Belt 6. It's the year. Of, we're thinking Morgan. We're thinking Morgan one more time, baby. We're talking we're about... Thinking, we're thinking about Morgan Mania. <laughs> we're, talk, we're talking Morgan Mania. We're talking Morgan theme song. We're talking Morgan Park. We're talking nonstop Morgan Mania. What's the better way of ending the year by having one final Morgan Sneak Banner show up? Listen, when they showed off Morgan, there's only one thing that ran through my head. This is the new John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> She's the face of the company now? She's the new face, and everyone is hating on her for being the new face. And that was you when, uh, on her release on JP. Yeah, I was like, this is gonna be a big servant. And everyone, yeah, to be fair, everyone wasn't feeling it in the yeah, beginning. I was like, oh, great, it's another another Saber face. Oh, yippee. And then she came out. And then the story came out. And, and then the story came out. And you know what happened? She got reran three more times after that story came out. It's true. She did have a meteoric rise, much like John Cena. She started in Ruthless Aggression, when you see her face. And then she had her Doctor of Thugonomics phase, which is Lost Belt 6. And now we're in the post-Thugonomics era. Super Morgan era. We're in Super Morgan era. We're in the Super Morgan era. <laughs> in a couple more years, we'll enter the John Cena loses occasionally showing up. And there's a new, like, she's making way for the new Roman Reigns. But yeah. for now, she is definitely in Super Cena. It is 100% Morgan Central. We're in Morgan's world at this point, And I think it actually would be hilarious to run Morgan's banner one more time. And make her the face of Thanksgiving. It, w it would definitely fit. That would definitely get people to go like, well, I missed every other single time. I'm trying to go for Morgan one more time. And for the people who are literally going for NP5 slowly, this would literally be a way for them to also summon. That's the funny thing. Yeah. But yeah, I think we're both in the same frame of mind of they would definitely put Morgan in <laughs> one more time. We're and going through these quick because we're having a lot of similar picks. But here's the extra. Yeah, extra. This one is going to be split. Yeah, this one is likely going to be split. But also, I think it's very likely that we pick the same one because I'm going for the jugular, the ultimate kill, the kill cam, the 360. Oh, no you're scope. going for big. I'm going for the biggest that there is in the game. I'm not gonna. I think this shows his actual name. No, maybe? it doesn't. Okay, thank God. I'm gonna go with Oberon. I think it's pretty likely that Oberon is literally in the same boat as Muramasa in that he does not have very many banners. I think in JP he's only had one rerun banner so far. Yes. Um, and I think it's even at... I'm almost like not even sure if he even got reran to be honest. Um, that's how few he's had. Out of all the Lost Bell dudes, it's kind of crazy. I think it's because they want... I think they're a little bit beholden by the fact that... They don't want you to know who he is, and when you get him, you can't actually unlock his final ascension until you beat Lost Belt 6. Until you beat Lost Belt 6 to beat the, the level to allow you to ascend him. Yeah, I still have mine in this form. As far as I know, this is my Oberon. <laughs> uh, when I went to turn my Oberon into cooler Oberon, in my opinion... That fight made me tear out so much hairs because I was like, oh, this is so annoying. This is <laughs> so dumb. I hate him. And it's, you know what? By the end of the story, I did hate him. Perfect. He's the most hateable character that you can like. <laughs> Say, they, they, I, made, they made his fight much like his character is what you're saying? They did a good job on that? Yeah. I'd say Oberon is like a second coming of Gilgamesh. Hmm. Very obsessed with Artoria. 
He is 100%. Very hateable. <laughs> very, very smug hateable. face. Does that mean he's going to have his Gilgamesh moment where he gets like his own spinoff that makes him like... $2 billion? Not, not, not $2 billion, but makes him a little bit more... Like, here's the thing. When you say he's the Gilgamesh, do you think there eventually comes a time where we get him... Like, let's say not oh, not recently, but let's say five years down the line where he's fiddling like the boss role in Fate uh, Samurai... Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> not that. Like he's uh, he's literally here to replace what Gilgamesh was at the beginning, um, which was a hateable dude who really was into sabers. <laughs> uh, I think he is just the very hateable dude who's into specifically saber in Lost Belt Six. Okay, fair enough. Because uh, there's a lot of things that you can't really do with the Pretender class. It's a very unique class. It is a very unique class. Um, it's the first I've ever heard of it, and when I heard of it, I was like, what are they doing in that chapter? It must be crazy, uh, and I think that's probably why they also don't do too many pretenders. There's a couple pretenders, but all the ones that have followed him have not had the same level of, like, super high level, like... Super wow. Yeah. Not super. First of all, this the wow one, factor, but the same This one was very important. Yeah. This was a milestone. He is the moment? He is the moment. Is Roman Reigns. <laughs> He's the Randy Orton to Morgan's John Cena. I think so. The legend killer Oberon. <laughs> they both hate each other. Mm. Well, no. I don't think John and Randy hate each other. But They like, hated each other back then. Uh, didn't when Ra they're feuding, yes, they hate didn't each other. Didn't Randy Orton show up at John Cena's house and slap the shit out of his father? <laughs> He also punt kicked his father. He did punt kick his father. There's a lot of things he was doing. I could see Oberon punt kicking someone that Morgan cared about. <laughs> Uh, you know, he, he definitely has his chances in that story. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. We'll leave it at that without going any further. So, uh, that is our picks for Thanksgiving this year. I would still say out of our list, yours would probably be the craziest in terms of them trying to get stuff. I think it would literally be a case of the band of them being like, <laughs> what do we do? Yeah. What do you do when you see that banner list show up? It would be insane. And for that reason alone, I think, and the fact that you mentioned it, I think it's very likely that they actually go back to doing three to four servants. Especially because there's also pity. That's a lot of dudes to release at once. Um, so I'll be very interested to see how they do it this year. But in general, I would say seven across. We'll see how many of them we get correct. If we get the entire banner correct of how many units, we'll see. I think it was a pretty safe... The only one that is not a safe bet is that extra class is like so... Uh, diverse it is so diverse and you can go so many ways like obviously i was thinking in my head if i had an extra chance for it i would definitely say maybe i'm for ruler um if i was gonna pick like an additional one like maybe that one but there's so many actual dudes inside here that you could pick there's bb there's jolter there's like there's so many dude there's abby there's so many dudes and all of the there's kiara <laughs> there's literally so many heavy hitters in here that it's actually kind of crazy that the extra class is typically put to um uh like a one side slot thing in the friends system i think that's still weird to me that's yeah it's weird uh the extra slot is weird because they're they all have counters to each other much like the original classes do, and uh, usually no one really puts something besides maybe like uh, nowadays you'd probably see Beast being used more often than not. Yeah, that does. You don't really mean. see many Moon Cancers, you don't see many uh, foreigners. It's very hard. You'd to either see. see a Pretender who was running over on on supports. Yeah, it's uh, a, they should really fix that. Even though I understand they don't want to fix that because of the amount of slots. To be fair, they did sorta fix it. Because mm. the slots, you can put up to three slots and it has three different servants mm. from three different types you have. But at the same time, you can't really do much about the extra class besides putting in the two, the first slot and the second slot yeah, to that, solve that issue. But no. Yeah. And sometimes I want people to see my super fancy off color, off filter other classes. Yeah. Sometimes they need to they need to see the level the one hundred um, bunion. It's a, it's a shame because uh, all my uh, supporters get to see is that I have two BBs in my extra slot. <laughs> and that's all the all the that's all they are, they'll ever see. That's all they're ever gonna see. Fair enough. 
But that's the end of the video, everyone. That's our guesses. We'll see how many of them are correct. When the actual things come out, we will recon... say my guess. For... Oh, Extra Class? What did, what did you... I mean, we were is just talking not... about Oberon for a while. Oh, is yours guess not Oberon? No. Holy shit. Okay, what is your guess for Ultra? It was a foreigner. Okay, okay. It's a foreigner. Go ahead. I didn't know. I thought we were both... I thought we were... Uh, no, I was the... just hyping up Oberon. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, what is... Was... This is your final choice. Mine was actually Yang Griffey. Yang? Yang All Griffey. Right. I want to hear the reasoning for Yang. So, usually, they put a lot of weird servants... And I think the weirdest out of all of the foreigners that we've gotten over the years is Yang. Because, for starters, I don't really see her too often. No, I think... I, I think she showed up New Year's, right? It was the weird... Yeah, it was New Year's when... A year ago, I think? I think two years ago. Close to... It was... We were in uh, our sister's uh, place at the time. Yeah, yeah, So it yeah. had to have been, like, a year ago. She showed up... She did her thing. She didn't come back the next year. She didn't come back the next year. You're right. Did she come back for the um, Van Gogh? No. She was in the Van Gogh story, though. <laughs> Maybe she did. We have to scroll down. I need to see her banner history. I don't think this banner history is on here. Yeah, it is. It had to be. She's limited. Uh, There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, she didn't show up next... <laughs> next... <laughs> She's only been in uh, Lucky Bags. Oh, she was in the 25 Downloads campaign. She, she was, was in, in the, the pre-scramble. Pre yeah, that, that, pre that is, yeah. Did we get her? I, I'm almost positive we did, because I had to did have talked Nemo? Did they really and not Drake? do it for our, uh, not us? All right, I'm going to go back in time. We have to re. We have to run it all the way back. Yeah, we have to go back to Imaginary year, Stramble, which is in November or October. September. September. I can't remember if it's before or after. Yeah, there it is. Pre-release, she had to have been in this one. Yeah. Okay. Yang was there in it for us, just to let it be people know. But you're still right that she is a very weird servant. Now that I think about it. Because typically there was like no story that year for the New Year's banner, right? No. So she basically is here based off of design alone. She was there by, based off design alone and the, <laughs> the Elder Beast piloting her. Yeah. And that's all we've ever seen of her. She does show up in events, you know, with all the other uh, servants that are... Foreigners. Foreigners. Or Chinese. Or Chinese, yeah. She likes, she hangs out with Woozy Tian a lot. But other than that, no. I haven't seen her, like, at all. I show up on a banner. I've seen her in stories, not a banner. So I was thinking, yeah, maybe she'll be ran this year. Because usually they do do foreigners often, like Abigail. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. do Hokusai. Abigail famously related to Thanksgiving. She was alive at that time. She was alive at that time. She's American. She is American. She's the... We killed her, but she's American. <laughs> Uh, allegedly, please. She was uh, practicing witchcraft. Obviously, an evil woman. Uh, don't take that seriously, please. Oh my god. Um, all right, that's an interesting pick. I'll be interested to see if they do more with Yang. You're right in that she is maybe the weirdest servant. I don't even see her that often in the friends list, to be honest. I have her. MP2. Uh, we, if yeah, we both have her. That's the that I can confirm. Three people. The one dude in my friends list who has a Yang who's level 100. You and me. Those are the three people I know who have Yang. And, I'm uh, really... Usually when I see rare servants, like... I usually want to put them on my support list. Because, like, yeah. when do you ever see something like that? Yeah, you do very rarely. And now that I think about it, if she's on your support list, you might actually be the friend. But I'm almost... You don't have her level 100, so it has to be no, someone else on there. No, it's not me. Someone out there repping the Yang gang. I use her a lot, but uh, she's not on my support list. Really? Interesting. I need to level her up more because oh. she has almost next to nothing on my side, I think. Did they? Did our her buff come, or come over to our side yet? This one? I don't think so. Maybe. Oh. Check. Strengthening one. Yes, this had to have come out then. So I have to at least do that for her and try and remember. I actually don't remember if I've done that or not. God damn. Yeah, okay. That's why she's weird. She is very weird. That's why she's my pick. All right. I didn't enough. think about Oberon because, like, man, Oberon's good, but I don't think they they have the balls. I don't think they have the balls. You, you don't think that they would win the argument in the 
in the office. They'll do Melusane. They'll do Morgan. I don't think they have the balls to do Oberon. I think Oberon might actually be the only unit that if we got early before Japan did... Japan would be like, what? They would actively be a slight hissy fit of being like, okay. They were already like that when they saw we got, like, Arjuna early. That's right, because we did get Arjuna Alter early compared to them. We got him uh, his rerun banner much earlier than we got, because by this point in JP, they did not get Arjuna Alter yet. They had to wait until the Bespeckled Men banner. Bespeckled uh, Men, and then by then... He was already kind of falling off. He's still very good, but like in the eyes of the Japanese, they're like, people want Morgan more. Let's then, more or less run Arjuna. Yeah, the Morgan meta had come and established itself, and she had become not the strongest because people will still debate you because Arjuna I'm Alter not saying is the strongest. Who is strongest? I'm saying who got more popular. Yeah, and who got more utility on their side, and they felt like Morgan was the one yeah. who popularized it. You can agree or disagree with it all you want, but that's just the same. The simple facts I won't on the read JP the side. comments. <laughs> I'll read your comments because I do read them. And I, I watch the video and I say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I scroll down. And if someone's uh, talking about my brother, I'll like the comment. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> if someone someone's saying I came here for the botched Japanese pronunciation, <laughs> exactly. You're there for them. Thumbs up. up. All right. Now we can officially say that is our list. We'll see who ends up being closest to it. Um, maybe we should uh, we should do something. Uh, do a picks... follow up video? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, not a uh, follow up video. Obviously, is saying which one got it, and then maybe the um, the one who got the most right loser has to play Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones. And if we both somehow... If we both somehow fail, we both we take bo turns... Playing uh, Mr. Bones. <laughs> does it fully? Do we go fully if we both get too many wrong? If we, if we just get it 100% wrong, then we have to 100% complete Mr. Bones. Is that what you're saying? That's the ultimate death game? It has to be the entire entirety of Mr. Bones. Okay. If for whatever reason, out of the 14 that we picked, some of them are double-sided. None of them get picked. There will be a 100% playthrough of Mr. Bones on the channel. Yep. I'm not saying it will be it will be viewed by like three people, but those three people will understand the reason why the punishment. Those game. three people need to understand we are serious. had a huge lapse in judgment and had to play Mr. Bones. <laughs> we got it so wrong that we. This is the only way that this we. This is our apology video. This is our apology. Yes, we'll see. Uh, feel free to tell us what you think will be happening. Uh, if our picks are two out there, it's definitely, I, again, some real heavy hitters. Well, Minor is pretty crazy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you decided to go over. Uh, we have, like... Okay, we can go over one last time just to be sure. For me, it is Saber Ostelfo. Oh, thank God I put it on the list. It is a Saber Ostelfo, Arch Archer Gene, Lancer Skahawk, Rider Reigns, uh, Caster Castoria, Assassin Kama, Berserker Morgan, and Extra Oberon. For my brother, it was Saber Mu Muramasa. Muramasa. I was about to say Musashi. Um, Archer Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Lancer Melusane. Mm -hmm. Writer Ivan the Terrible, Caster Murasaki Shikabu, Assassin Kama, Berserker Morgan, and Extra Yang. Guifei. Guifei. Thank you for getting taking the bullet on that one. So we'll see. That is our list. We will see you guys in. Let me see. What is. The, by the time people see this video, it will likely be the 17th. That's when this video releases. So we'll meet back here sometime in 19, 20, 21, or 22. To see how many if we got right or wrong. <laughs> but we'll see who eats the turkey. Exactly. And that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to say goodbye by saying... Kathaga. Which is what, like, an evil, darked up, fucked up version of, uh... Uh, uh... What is the main guy from Cars? <laughs> Lightning McQueen says... Lightning McQueen says Kathaga? Yeah, instead of Kachow. He says Kataka. Imagine that would go crazy. That would go hard. What if just a bunch of flames start bursting everywhere? Yeah, all the frames and Mater goes like, what happened to you, Lightning? Uh, they found the incriminating tweets. They found the incrimination, Mater. I'm now evil and fucked up now. This is the only people who would accept me. They can't accept my life. The lifestyle. Elder Entity is accepting Lightning McQueen. That's going to be a movie. Yeah, we can literally pitch this to Disney and they'll say, that sounds great. That, that sounds great, point. but please get out of our office. <laughs> that sounds great. Please leave our office and take your Mater cosplay with you. 
Who's wearing the Vader? <laughs> Me. I'm going to show up in full Vader okay. costume. But they're going to be weirded out because I'm going to still be standing like a human. So, <laughs> so Vader's going to look like the so car. the car's on your back. <laughs> yeah. No, he's going to look like that car from the Sega fighting game when he's getting ready to fight. So okay, you're going to yeah, see yeah. the underside of Vader with his giant face looming over from my head. <laughs> that's, that's what they're going to see. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Say goodbye, goodbye boy. Thank you. Perfect.